tell you right now, life's not going to be perfect. I'll say it again for the people in the back who think that One Direction is going to get back together. Yeah, life's not going to be perfect. I know it's disappointing, but throughout my life, I searched almost insanely for what I think my perfect is going to be. I can't even say search because I'm still searching, present tense. Every day, I pull up my assignment notebook and Google Classroom in the family calendar, and I look at all the different events and activities which are coming up, and I just feel so tired. Not because I have to do all of those things, but because I want to do them. Because I can't let myself sleep if I don't. I can't just be okay with missing a hangout with my friends, but at the same time, I also can't be okay with missing the class I would have to miss to go to that hangout. It's gotten to the point where I feel a desperate need and unavoidable guilt if I miss anything, anything at all. I set up two different computers with two different classes going. I text my friends asking if we can switch to another day, another time. I try desperately to make my life perfect. To make sure I don't miss anything, I don't waste any time, I keep moving, I keep pushing, so that maybe one day I can reach the goal of when I'll be satisfied with my life. Every day my mom asks me what I have to do for the day. And I list all my daily assignments and tell her, oh, you know, the usual. And then she asks me, and then you'll be done for today? And see, some people, when their mom is asking them that, they're asking sarcastically, like, that's it? Nothing else? And don't get me wrong, that's my mom too. But sometimes when my mom is asking, she's really saying, and then you'll be able to take a break, relax with your family, help me do the dishwasher. And every day, my answer starts with a sigh. Because if I sit down with my family, or go to one of my mom's yoga classes, or lay idly on the couch and do nothing, I feel that guilt, which I mentioned earlier. I feel like if I want to be successful, whatever that means, I need to keep moving, keep pushing, keep trying, so that maybe one day, I'll be able to relax without feeling any guilt. I have coined this idea, this belief that we are always moving to meet our goals, the next best thing. The next best thing I feel is this almost insane mindset most of us have these days where we don't stop, ever. And what makes this even more confusing is that there's no definition or particular amount for how much is enough. It's not like, oh, after this week is over, I can take a break because there's always next week. It's not like, oh, after this semester is done, I can relax because there's always the next thing, whatever that is. And what I admire, quite frankly, are the people who allow themselves a break who can say that, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of work to do this summer, but at least it'll be summer. At least I can relax for a month or two before I get started again. The people who give themselves the gift of time, who aren't always pushing or trying, who are okay with taking a break, reward themselves with a break. Some people say it's good to be humble to be standing on your tippy toes, always searching for the next thing, never stopping to really think about what you have. There's a beauty almost in the next best thing. Weeks, months, semesters pass, things are crossed off of checklists, new things are added, a date which marked in the calendar months ago is finally reached and all of a sudden, it's just a day in the past and yet, the next best thing is also dangerous. All of that time gone and how is it even remembered? Weekends mixed into one, photographs which could have come out better, a test score which didn't even impact a grade. Some goals are met, some goals you realize that no matter how hard you try, you just can't achieve them. You don't have the time. And that's when I ask myself, where did all that time really even go? There are thousands of moments, memories, things yet to come, things which have already happened in my life. I know I can't achieve them all, and yet, that doesn't stop me from searching for a moment, the moment, where I would be satisfied with my life. It's unrealistic, I know, but still, I try desperately to achieve as much as possible, keep pushing, so that I can have that moment. But the problem is, I don't know when that moment is. None of us do. I don't know when I'll be able to be satisfied with myself, despite the losses I've faced and the opportunities I've missed. I don't know when I'll be able to relax without thinking about everything I haven't done. Maybe that time is now, maybe it's gone, maybe it's at the end of the week, maybe it's at the end of the month. All I really know is that until that moment comes in my life, all I can do is keep searching for the next best thing.